Ad Astra Abyss. Astra, thank you for completing. Children, come, come. <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. I've been looking for you. Oh, what is it, Granny? Need any help? Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you in return. A gift? For Paimon? <laughs> oh, child. You are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. That simply won't do. Especially since I imagine you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old fo- I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. So, in the eyes of an Adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Huh. But that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a- That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go r What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find- Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And, if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there. <sighs> 
but almost no one has been able to find Shimmer Soil in this manner since even more difficult to find is Smaragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or, in any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and ah, goodness knows if that child will succeed. Well, since you're an adept... Hmm, yes. She... Oh. I'm back, Granny. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yen Fei, I believe you've already heard of the Traveler and her traveling companion. Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought up before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being a shame that we didn't meet sooner. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right- Oh, yes, here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office if you have an urge- All right, Yenfei. You'll have to excuse Yenfei. She's always been like this. Haima was gonna ask the same quest- An adeptus? He mentioned they had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. The chasm's been sealed off, and there's just no way in. Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go. But there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Whoa! That's a really thick book! Commercial Consultancy. Krossel. A Snezhnai and Mer- He mentioned that- So, I guess I'll go look for him. With oh, you wanna join- Wow! An Adeptus- Best we be a- <laughs> Mr. Crossel, how's business been? Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? Uh, well, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, in the end I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and had it fashioned into a pair of hairpins. Miss Yanfei, might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize, I have already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Chiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Wait, isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? 
No, I'm not worried in the slightest, because I signed a contract with Miss Zhu Chiao before renting them to her. The contract makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item- Guaranteed genuine? With ten- Of course. This way both- In that case, might you know- Oh, of course. She wrote her address down when we signed our con- Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. Whatever shall I do? Y yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do, Monsieur Chow? We understand from Mr. Crossel that you recently rented a pair of hairpins from him. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? The hairpins? <sighs> I can't lend them to you right now. I... I've lost them. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I hadn't even worn them yet. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value... But there's no way I could come up with that amount of money on... I... My family is in the ore business, too. But business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. We now have a backlog of paid-up orders just sitting around... So we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to complete them. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. I need this opportunity to mingle and discuss prices. That's what the hairpins were for, to... But now that I've lost the hairpin... Ah, why does Paimon have a sudden strong sense of deja vu? W would you really? I sent a commission to the Adventurer's Guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Miss Zhu Chao, would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I have it right here. Here you are. Let me see. Hmm... That's right! Yanfei said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Zhu Chao somehow. True. Don't right, I finished reading. Furthermore, and given the rarity of Smarag- Even higher! Oh, no! Uh-oh. However... Did you really have to pot? Whichever way you look at it... Except that if we found the hairpins... Uh... Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item, and I should pay compensation. For however much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and respect our contracts. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. I'll go and inform him of the issue, and then... negotiate. Mm, yes, legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, I have some questions about the hairpins. So hold on a moment, Monsieur Chow. When you first touched the hairpins, what did you feel? What did I feel? Well, my family has... Hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. No, it's nothing. Ah, Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jiu Chao in tow, too, I see. How are the hairpins? 
I trust you're quite satisfied with them? <laughs> About that. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Every last Mora. Mora? <laughs> Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? I... I just don't... <laughs> Forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes. And if I may just confirm again... It was in fact genuine Smaragdus Jadeite inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course! Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value! Alright, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an fit. Thank you very much. Looks like I'll have to find some... Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient. Yenfei, what is this about? Are you... Are you here to tell me how much I owe? No. What I wanted to talk about is, there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jadeite after all. What do you mean? Obviously not. I'm no adventurer. I don't know if Granny told you this, but Smarag... If mere mortals come into con... Miss your chow. Did you at any time... No. Not hmm. Now that is strange. If I have deduced correctly, he may. S if that's the case, we should go confront him. Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would, and then he'd throw the smirk. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Child pay up per the contract. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might- Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of- Well then, since you're so experienced in dealing with- Oh, that won't be a problem. But for- Huh? Does there have to be a contract for everything? It feels like yeah. These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything pro- Any were commissioned, but not bound by a- I understand. Then? No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here. And then sign on this page as well. And I'll also need your signatures on pages 5, 7, and on the very last page. <sighs> this contract has so many pages! Paimon's all out of brain juice again. Alright, that should do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written at- I've had to read through- Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, I don't believe you have been part of an investigate- Miss Yunfei, I have to ask- Because, as it happens, I'm currently tr- Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not, also, the idea of someone abused- But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go- Ha! Ah, I've got it! If Mr. Crossell had his ore work- I can't believe it. Why, hello there, honored customers. Sh surely No, nothing of the sort. A Snezhnai... Hmm. That was the first time he was quite generous. Hmm. Uh, why, yes. Thank you, sir. Well...
Huh? If my eyes don't deceive me, the cross sections and patterning suggest that these are Smaragdus nephrite shavings. Yes, I've heard it said that Smaragdus. A thin layer! If you must see for your. Is that so? So, did you find anything? So they really are different! But wait, how come Jichao is able to tell what it- There's nothing special to it. It just so happens that I've come across a great many of these in my- These two stones act- There may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronaut and- Alright, let's focus up. But, never mind Shirto. Why would Mr. Crossel- <sighs> Unusual actions have unusual- Try your luck betting on Jay. Ha! Miss Yenfei? My- If you could just confirm for me once more, sir. Uh, yeah. Then I have no- Of course. Oh, I have this document. Hmm. I wouldn't sit with this hard evidence to- On the contrary. If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional jewelsmith. <sighs> Let me think. Jewelry. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, that was- Because lots of people, as you know, leap but the amend- As such. So you- Yes, well, <laughs> you- <laughs> You sound surprised. Knowing the oh, this has enough again with that. Well, that's that. Uh. Off we go. Yenfei, it's you. Has something happened? Did the client from last time... Uh... Have no further trouble from then on? Yes, of course. I'm just here to ask you a few questions. Has a merchant by the name of Crossel asked you to put him in contact with a jewelsmith recently? Crossel? Yes, I remember him. He's a merchant from Snezhnaya, no? Yeah, he came to me with a chunk of something he called Smaragdus Jadeite. The design of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find someone who was up to the job. Eventually, I found an older jewelsmith who made them exactly according to his specifications. This order was on hold for a very long time, and only completed quite recently, which is why I remember it so well. Doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Miss Inksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Crossell commissioned you to find him a jewel smith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented to you that day was called Smaragdus Jadeite? Yes, I'm sure of it. The hairpins were made using many expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Mr. Crossell wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his behalf. I also kept a copy for my own records. See for yourself, the item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. The inlaid gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document even has the official seal of the Ministry on it. Thank you, Sinksy. Now, could you let me borrow this document? Sure. It isn't serving much purpose here anyway. I take it then that there's been some more trouble? Nothing you need to worry about. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. Thanks again! Why is everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble? Hmm, I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Dr. Baiju.
The weirdo with the snake around his neck? What do you want to speak to him for? Because only he can provide an authoritative statement confirming that Smaragdus Jadeite is harmful to the human body. Once we have this final... prescription my my to what do I owe the pleasure though I'm afraid that if you're looking for our little Chi Chi she's out gathering herbs and if it isn't Miss Yen Fei as well now that's an even rarer honor what business brings you here might I inquire some charlatans peddling ineffectual medicines again, no doubt? No, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jadeite. Smaragdus Jadeite? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. The Seven Mountain Treatises states that it is abundant huh, any... I suppose that... That is indeed the case. If you would be so kind, Dr. Baiju. No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed a curiosity for Smaragdus Jadeite recently. A Snezhnayan merchant came to ask me about it not long ago. But after I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. I wonder... Ah, uh, You're too... You guys, it's weird as ever. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like he was fishing for something back there? Dr. Baiju's always been like that. Well, we have the evidence we need. Let's go find Mr. Crossel. Can't beat the atmosphere here and the Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Yes. My investigation is indeed concluded. Wonderful. Well then, please. Of course. Mr. Crossel, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. Sure. Wait, what? Me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. 
Material evidence? What material evidence? Why, Miss Yanfei, you cannot frame me like this. I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagdus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. Indeed. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve a <clears throat> If we want to determine whether the ore is genuine, this is a processing record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Chateau. Seriously? Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? Th that's an unsubstantiated belief. Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. Ugh. Looks like our first piece of that hard evidence. Something legally binding. <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the Ministry's seal, after all. It shows that the ore inlaid on the pins is indeed Smaragdus Jadeite. Our second piece of evidence didn't work either. And this guy's getting... Hmm. You know, you could be right. Of course I'm right. All the evidence shown supports my story. Well, hang on a moment now, because I do recall one final piece. Traveler, would you do the honors? What? What's this? Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from Stone Marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady while in ser- Mr. Crossel, were you aware of these peculiar properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? I... I had no idea. No idea, you say? Hmm, I'd guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item... I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, I'm sure that the min- Don't worry, Mr. Croft. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in there and- What? Wait! Wait! I-, I Oh, so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossel. But if you knew of Smarag- Huh? No, I- the hair aren't actually inlaid with genu- You do understand, Mr. Crossel, that this- Mr. Crossel, your answer, please. My client and I are waiting. I- 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 Yampi's seriously intimidating right now. I admit it. I confess. The ore I had inlaid on those hairpins was- Was- But I'm a victim in all of this, too. I invested a great deal of- But after receiving it and ca I went to- that's why I had another pair. I kept the real Smarag. I was worried that someone would see through it. Which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. Exactly! If they weren't the real deal, why'd you make her pay so much? I... I didn't want to either. But when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much... If word got... Alright, let's cut the appeals phase right there. Ten... Ten times... Crossel looks like he could faint any second. As for me, according to my... 20%? That's a... Um, even if the Smaragdus jaded on the... However, Mr. Crossel... What? Miss Yenfei, I'll turn the Smaragdus jaded over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remunerate... Well, um, that's not... Thanks so much for your help. Oh, come on. No... Hmm? Well... Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further... Is... Is Actually, I could see from the hip if we could join. F I, uh. Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants too. Exactly. You should. Uh, eat the right solution to. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, an adeptus. Liuai Harbor is now a city ruled by the title of adept. In any case, don't you think that the Liuai. I'm on can think of someone who would definitely. Well, since we got what we came for.
Turned. How did it go? Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? Good, good. Well, if we're all... Oh, you. I'm off then. Bye! Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you... I've been looking... Come now, tra <laughs> I'm leaving! I'm leaving! <sighs> that child... Goodness knows which... Ah, <sighs> Yan Fame. Ah... <sighs> All right, then. <laughs> oh, Paimon's so excited! <laughs> oh, there we go. Hold it firmly. If you were to drop it, oh, goodness, who knows what might happen. Take these blueprints with you as well. Wait a minute! Oh, you... This is a... All matter, your journey may be far from though it is the thus we teapot you may consider now a la have you any bloop as long as you have a blueprint, you can refa blueprints? Yes, these are the bloop just commit then simply re Wow Is that all it takes? Then we could build a whole thing. Mm, I doubt he said this world is not a, tr a golden. A I hardly remember myself. What's more, well, let's not do if there's any. Benny's adventure team assemble.
we go. Maybe you're not used to the place at the moment, but once you've materialized enough... If you ever have it... Benny's Adventure Team, assemble!
Adventure time! Off we go! Interesting, you want to talk? Nighty night and sweet dreams. And don't worry, Pima will be with you all the. Maybe you are not used to the place.
If you ever... Adventure time! Off we go! Adventure time! not used if you ever have it
Hello. Looking for me? I like the smell here. Good smell. Smell of safety. Stars here. Penny's Adventure Chain, assemble! Join me on an adventure in ages! Come on! Let's go! Adventure time! Maybe you're not... 
not used to the pl- If you ever have any quest- Off we go! Penny's adventure team, assemble! Let's go find some treasure! Benny's adventure team, assemble! It's 
joined me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go! Benny's adventure team, assemble! Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Adventure team, assemble! No one's joined me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go! <laughs> Benny's adventure team, assemble! Benny's adventure team, assemble! Adventure time! Maybe you're not...
If you ever have any quest- <laughs> Let's go find some treasure! If you ever... Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Benny's Adventure Team, assemble! Once, there was a glorious kingdom established among the heavens. From that kingdom came a crowned heir, 
tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl from the Kingdom of Darkness. The first crowned heir began her journey of seeking the Pearl. But she was deceived, and the memory of her noble origins faded. She now believed that she was the Queen of the Kingdom of Darkness. But take heart. A second crowned heir had already taken up the path where the first had stumbled. This is the story of your journey. Of your tale to be told. Benny's Adventure Team, assemble! <laughs> Thank you. 
your time. your time.
that tingle? Adventure time! Yeah. 
this an answer from this world? Answer from this world? Drop! Ha! Starfall! Astra, thank you for coming. Add Astra. Add Astra. Ab It's you! Didn't think I'd be running into you here. <laughs> I guess it's my lucky day! How are your adventures going lately? Did you come here to get a new commission from Catherine, or to get paid? And where are you going after this? Bet you've got a really exciting adventure lined up, huh? Oh, 
I'm talking too much, aren't I? I'm sorry. I was just so excited to run into someone I admire so much. And, uh... Of course! You're the mysterious traveler, the hero who quelled the Storm Terror Crisis, and the leader of your own adventure team to boot! If I'm being honest, I'm totally... Yeah! It might look like you're just handling a bunch of boring commissions. Anyway, I just really envy you. You're sort of like me, on the other hand. I'm just some unlucky guy. Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get all down in the dumps in front of someone I admire. I should be open to see what I... Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask. Um, when you go adventuring later, can I come and watch? Uh, <laughs> maybe if you brought me along in an adventure, my bad luck would probably just screw everything up. I don't want to get you into any trouble. Really? You mean, go adventure with you? Just... wow! Don't be so mod... By the way, since we've got this ri According to my friend Fischl in the guild, a mysterious and dangerous ruin has recently been discovered. Based on how the guild ranks the difficulty of its commission... Normally, after all. But since you'll be joined... There's no way the <laughs> Oh, uh... Hmm... Seems I really can- in that case. Oh yeah! I can't say it's super tasty, but I think it'd be- Oh, wait till you see! Oh, I'm really sorry. The ingredients needed for- You got that, right? You got them all? Now that we've got our ingredients, allow me to handle the cooking. It's done. I forgot the- I'll pack it up and leave it with you until we get to the ruin- I think so- This <sighs> recommendation is the steak. Off we go! Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This world is full of unsolved mis- It feels pretty ordinary. Could it be that- Huh. That mechanism must be for opening the- Right. Well, we're on the same page at least. You want me on your- It feels pretty ordinary here. I was expecting some kind of sense of impending doom. Could it be that because you're here with me, I'm feeling more at ease? <laughs> huh. 
It looks like the door in the front is closed and only the door behind us is open. That mechanism must be for opening the next door, right? Right. I'll go try... Just as I expect. Ah, so... Hmm, let me try the mechan... Hmm, it seems to be... jammed. This is not... but... this kind of thing... What the... Hey, sound like... let's go... Adventure time! Off we go! Over there! Another adventurer by the looks of it. Get out of here! Take cover! Fellow adventurer! Bennett? Uh, Royce? It's you! Oh no! Oh please! Oh no, no, no! I'm so happy to see you again! How are you doing? I've been thinking about you and the other guild members a lot recently. This is the worst! <sighs> Why did I have to run into you? Oh. It took me forever to get this door open. Finally, I was about to advance further in, and. All of a sudden, it closes again. Uh, I guess that's because I activated the mechanism just now. I knew it! I knew it! Of course it was you! I knew it as soon as I saw you! As long as you are around, no adventure can ever be a smooth ride! <sighs> this is turning into a very bad- Who are you? And what the heck were- Hey, don't- let me introduce- Friend? <sighs> Never mind. I'm a little on it. Well... You think? But after joining you, I just couldn't dismiss it. The last straw was when... Only afterward did I start hearing the horror story. You're right. All right, all right. Um... Oh. <sighs> oh, yeah. So we're... <sighs> Bennett! <laughs> oh, oh... <sighs> this is it. This is... Well... Uh... <sighs> is this the... It's fine. If that's true, then... then... I... <sighs> Bennett! Hey, what's wrong? Royce! Adventure team!
Benny's adventure team assemble! Oh. Oh. Mm. Or not. Adventure time! Off we go! Adventure time!
り。Treasure. Strange.
you can't keep up with me. Keep up with me! from. Just what will we come across this? Yeah. 
Aduh. Even better than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Adventure time. Let's light it up. Ah! 
Smell of treasure. Strange. Chest, good for storage. <laughs> I, I taste blood. Blood. Yeah. 
Keep this close. storage. Here, take cover. 
Adventure time! He's adventured. Benny's adventure team, assemble!
Let's do this. from. What? <laughs> 
Adventure time! That's gonna hurt in the morning! You're in for a little shock. Everybody stand back! Windblade! Try not to enjoy this too much. Why do they never miss? Looks like I got carried away. Adventure time! Off we go! Let's light it up! I must leave no stone unturned. I'll catch up! Windblade! Someone needs assistance! Let's light it up! Dodge this! Let's 
Light it up! So sad. Yeah. Let's light it up! It always rains when I go on an adventure. Don't stand too close to me, or you might get hit by lightning too. It's not bad today. Oh crud. I jinxed it. Now it's bound to rain. time. Off we go. Adventure time. Off we go. Yeah! 
adventure time. Let's light it up! Off we go! Let's go find some treasure! Adventure time! from.
adventure time! We go! Adventure time! Adventure time! your time. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! 
Off we go! Another test set. Get out of here! Ha! Let's light it up! I should replace my hammer. Adventure time! Subject. Adventure time. Off we go. Adventure time. Off we go. Freeze! 
Adventure time! Uh. Adventure time!
I keep watch. You leave, you call me. Swift and merciful. I smell rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> 
What's the hurry? Cryo is always far more effective in the rain. This is going to get interesting. Cryo is always far more effective in the rain. This is going to get interesting. What's the hurry? So sorry. Know you were such a slacker. Oh, ow! Where did that come from? <laughs> 